so y'all after all that excitement i finally made it to the front porch which is what what i was trying to do all along but got sidetracked with that snake <laughs> So, my son's um, about to do the back, finally, I hope. I heard him, but then he stopped, so I don't know what happened. I got the, um, those little wooden crates. I leaned those up against my fence, y'all. I decided not to use them. So, I'm using, uh, up here I'm using these little crates here that I don't like but I need to get rid of them and I don't really care for these but I had already bought them and so then I um, just emptied out these I'm about to add some soil to it I made a and then I have a few of my older cups that I did have some seeds in that didn't produce for me or either they produced and then something happened to them so I'm just gonna soften up this soil and add some seed starting mix to it matter of fact I'm gonna dump it into my bin that I have here you see it right there I'm gonna put that soil in here because I've already mixed it so I need to get this soil together before I plant in here. I hope you can hear me and I hope these little kids don't come trying to um, play basketball. I'm surprised they aren't already out there getting I talk too soon. I don't mind them doing it in this cold site. What bothers me is all that cursing that they, that they do along with it. And you know, you can't really say anything to people's kids because they take offense to it. So I'm just gonna add some seeds starting mix to the top. Of, and I just got this from, I think, Family All for 350. So I'm gonna add some of that to the top. And then mix that soil up that I just took out of those cups. I've already done it to the whole bean though. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I should have brought um, some kind of tarp, but it's okay. I'll just sweep it off the porch. And I have a wraparound porch, so I'm going to try to utilize it. And because this is like where I grew my lettuce and spinach at um, last year and it did great on my porch. I would come out every morning um, and harvest from it. I would just eat it right there. So I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to add my soil to these containers. Let me grab a chair. Little fishing chairs here. see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to fill and put them back up there. No sense in hurting my back. And that seed starting mix is a great way to, you know, you can add it to your soil and make your soil more lighter and fluffier for starting seeds. You have a heavy soil. Some seed starting mixes are heavy, I've noticed. But you can always add these little other things to it. Y'all having a blessed Saturday. I 
I'm going to try to get this video up today. It just depends on YouTube, y'all. Um, it may be later today, but it'll be up. Hopefully. If not, it's, it's Sunday. I'm trying to do up-to-date videos, but YouTube won't let me be great. Or attempt to be great, because no one's actually great, great. I think this whole container, um, this five gallon bucket right here, I have like a couple more in the house that I gotta put holes in them that I intend to plant in because they're cheaper. When I go to Walmart today, I will be asking them, do they have any buckets? Because those buckets at Lowe's are way too expensive, okay? Probably don't need it all the way up to the top. It's gotta be the have room for our soil later. Fertilizing it. And I'm just recycling my Bonnie containers it helps y'all save your containers to um, grow in it has been an exciting morning i'm just gonna enjoy these birds Okay, so I have the seed sitting. Let me move this. I didn't bring my little um, things to write on. So I have my seed sitting on top and I'm just gonna gently press down in it and cover it. I'm not going deep at all. That's why I did extra soil So it would just go in and I have one more cell that's empty right there. So we'll just make these all okra. That way we'll know. And these are the Clemson spineless. So what's the, um, the other one that I did? Actually is a um, big okra. Go big. So we'll put that there because it's a totally different brand. There we go. And one seed to each cell. I haven't decided where I'm gonna grow these, but I may just do them in buckets or out of a actual um, soil bag. Just because I want to finish the bag. And I want a lot of okra. I'm only doing one per cup. You, you can, you usually do two. I usually do two, that is. But maybe I will. Maybe I'll go back and add another one. problem with coming up. I don't foresee there being a issue with it coming up. are by the Bentley company. I'm sorry if this is a long video, y'all. I'm going to put these if I can get it open. 
Ooh. These you gotta sprinkle little tiny seeds. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to do two. They so tiny. These are eggplants. I'm just gonna dump them all in here and then I'll weed them out now. And these are those eggplants right there, the green knight. So we're gonna put the green knight over here. This is why I don't like planting a lot of different things at the same time because I forget to do that. put something in here. Broccoli is in here. I do remember that now. Oh, broccoli is down here. Okay, so we're going to do watermelon in these. This watermelon is going to be the orange tender sweet. Finally, the seeds that I can deal with. I'm going to do two in each. So that's it that I'm going to do today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry the video was long, um, but y'all please go ahead and subscribe and like, and I will try to shorten my videos up some. I just wanted to get all of this into one video, y'all. So y'all take care. Have a very, very blessed day, and I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to end my day. Um, I got to figure out what I did with my peppermint oil because the squirrels are loving that bed over there but they haven't touched this bed over here since i put the peppermint oil in it and i can't find what i did with it i don't know if somebody moved it anyway so i'm ending my day by i mixed up a small i didn't even use a full cap of the neem oil because this is not a full gallon um so I'm about to use this sprayer and just spray the top of the leaves. And I'm not even touching it, it's doing it on its own. And then I'll spray underneath the leaves as well for any pests that might be interested. No, because, no. Sorry, y'all, I was talking to my son. Ready for me to do these turkey legs. The wind and blew that over there. This would be something good you could put over and cover up your, your stuff with. I don't know how good it'll work, but anyway. So I got those covered, I think, on the top. Pretty good. And I didn't water because it rained so much yesterday. That's the on this thing here. I don't know why. Why does it keep doing that? It's like it's wasting all of the good juice. So I'll pump this some more. And look, it's still spraying, y'all. So I'm gonna go up underneath. I don't know why it's doing that. I might have to go use the other one. Oh. Let me get my kale. If they look so pretty. Trying to get underneath it. You say this doesn't affect your plant, so hopefully it doesn't. Because see, something had already got hold to this one since I put it in here. So. Let's just try to 
treat it ahead. I didn't do that last year. <sighs> Hopefully it works. Underneath. Always check underneath your leaves. Sorry if I have bad uh, camera skills right now. I'm trying to figure this thing out. How do you get it to stop? Oh, I had it locked. Oh, oh, I had it locked. What an idiot. Let me see. Wow. I didn't know you could lock it. So, let me give my peppers just a little bit. It locks automatically, though. That's the thing. Cucumbers. Spray y'all on the top, and then I'll spray them underneath. I am gonna water, but I'm gonna water the ground. Um, ooh, look at that wasp hiding up in there. Or is that a moth? I don't know what that is. Let's give the beanie weenies some. Oh my gosh, squirrels are horrible. They are horrible. We're gonna do I got a pump again. Hold on. My pants falling off. Can't be giving the neighbors a show. Oh! They don't want to see that. Pump, 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 pump it up. Okay. I'm going to lock it and spray. Ooh! Good thing that you can get this on your skin because it is blowing. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't even got the camera right because I'm trying to hold it with my left hand. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't harm the bees because the bees are out, y'all. Huh? Have I ever looked inside of a snake's stomach? No. He had a frog in his belly? Are you serious? Here. Take this. So I can see it. I ain't coming back over there. It's already recording. He ate a frog. I think I see the leg. That's the leg sticking out? That's crazy! It wasn't a poisonous snake, I don't think. It did eat a frog, though. Poor frog. But, anyway. Okay, those are done. I don't have any other... Oh, yeah, my tomatoes. I might need to move my tomatoes. I have them all the way over here. And I feel like I'm going to forget about them. Because I almost did just now. Forget about them. And I have to water them. Well, I don't have to water them today because they got so much water yesterday. I'll water them tomorrow morning. So for now, we're gonna let them have some neem oil. And they say you can use this neem oil on your hair, your skin, all the goodies. Just whatever's skeet skeeting out. I'm going to let it skeet skeet out because it's only a little bit left. And I only have these left to do so. I don't want to make another batch. Ooh, mosquito. Oh, my phone's about to die. I don't 
have anything. Well, I have an avocado in here. I'm trying to see if it um, actually does anything. So, yeah. I still got to get all this stuff put up. So, some of this mulch will be gone tomorrow because I'm going to go ahead and lay it out when I lay my tarp. So, in that walkway. So, that'll help with that. And move some of these tarps out of the way and i may lay this tarp over there um in that corner where i had those pallets where that snake was or i may just throw them away i don't know we'll see y'all i just i gotta get this yard cleaned up i can't stand it right now it's cluttered and i don't like it okay bye y'all